Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, EarthClan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth... Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? 
This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid, but I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed.
The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. 
I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. I guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought.
Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kinda makes your head spin if you think about it too much. up to something what guy the one what oh no i wasn't never mind um yes is there something you want why are you so interested in the keepers keepers i've got no interest in the keep don't get coy i know what i saw oh uh, yeah I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Look at that bug thing over there. Please. 
please do not disturb the keepers. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 2, located at the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the most recognizable and important features of the Presidium. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel? No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. I've been inside the Council Chambers. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. 
I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor. The Hanar are a citadel species known... When? The Volus are a member... The Asari were the first... The second species to join... Roughly... Tw Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? 
This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. 
as much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus. A retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. 
Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for your What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain considering the price. 
Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander.
Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. They've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too... Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. 
Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him in. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor? How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor? How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. A 
I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I should be going. As you say, EarthClan. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades.
has her. I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! ME! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet! Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, Lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general! Quit your whining! Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. I'll pass. Suit yourself, Princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of Seasick. I'm looking for a Seasick officer, a Turian named Garrus. 
Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Go ask him about that, sweetheart. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it. Back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see.
I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you?! Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot. But she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out.
Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on! Get out of here! Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting.
Looks like it shut down. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you 
do it! The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many- Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? 
Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. 
Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Your ambassador is next door. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes, good day. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. 